we post it back? It, it, it's, it's under the P. Oh, we only do the first one during the procession. Ebloitos o Theos imo pandon en in keai, ke suse oras ton eonon. Christos on earth, the 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 earth, the
Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty, who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with water, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation, shall not be moved unto the ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The water shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place he founded for them. To set a boundary they shall not pass over, neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends the springs into the valley. The water shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild donkey shall quench their thirst. The birds of the heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes the grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of man, to bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nest, and the house of the heron takes the lead among them. The, mount, the high mountains are for the deer, the cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You establish darkness, and it is night, wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises, and they gather together, and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is a great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is the dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you that you may give them food in due season. When you, op when you give it to them, they shall gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to their dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. You shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knows its setting. You established darkness, and it was night. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. Enedini to Kirill, they thaman. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. These many laws are for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. But let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> for our Father and our Bishop Sabbath, and for all the clergy and lady, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, all those in public service, and for our armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the great and holy Church of Christ, and for our archdiocese, <coughs> for this city and parish, and for every city and land, and for the faithful who love in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, <coughs> for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, rain, danger, and distress, 
and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our brethren, brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, Blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And to you, O Lord. And to you belongs, O glory, honor, and worship <coughs> to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. A clod of ground is dashed to pieces on the earth, so their bones were scattered beside the grave. O my eyes, O Lord, O Lord, are toward you. In you I hope, take not my soul away. Keep me from the snares they set for me, and from the stumbling blocks of those who work lawlessness. Sinners shall fall into their own net. I am alone until I escape. I cry to the Lord with my voice, with my voice I pray to the Lord. I shall pour out my supplication before him. I shall declare my affliction in his presence. When my spirit fainted within me, then you knew my path. on the way I was going, they hid a trap for me. I looked on my right and saw there was no one who knew me. Refuge 
failed me and there was no one who cared for my soul. I cried to you, O Lord, I said, you are my hope, my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I was humbled exceedingly. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. And my soul out of prison to give thanks to your name, O Lord. The righteous shall wait for me until you reward me. Out of the depths I have cried to you, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Transgression, O Lord, who would stand, for there is forgiveness with you. You, you gave to our emperor your precious cross as the mightiest plate of armor, O Christ our God. I wish it he has reigned on earth in a righteous manner, shining with the true faith. You made him worthy to receive the rule of heaven in your own tender love. Almighty Jesus, Savior of our souls, with him we extol the plan for salvation that you, O Lord, have fulfilled in your love for man. And again, to no matter who he pemina se kirie, he pemini psychi mu iston logon su, il pisen i psychi mu epiton kirion, oplon krateo taton to vasili mon vedokas, ton stavron su ton timion, vi u e vasilev sen epis di keos. Lamsa sev sevia ke vasilia suranon, katixio thiti ev splachnia su, methusu tin philanthropon, economion doxazomen, i su pando diname, oso tietom psikonimon. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch until night, let Israel hope in the Lord. You who love humanity gave to your servant Saint Constantine the good judgment of Solomon, and also the gentleness of the prophet David and the orthodoxy of the apostles as you are the king of kings and the lord of those who of lord O jesus the almighty savior of our souls we extol the plan for salvation that you O lord have fulfilled in your love for man ο τι παρά το κυρίο το έλεο και πολύ παρά αυτό λύτρωση. Και αυτό λυτρώσεται τον Ισραήλ εκ πασών των ανώμιων αυτού. Έδω κασφιλάνθρωπε το ευσεβή σου θεράποντι. Σολομόντο στην φρόνηση. Δαβή την πραότητα και των αποστόλων. Την Ορθοδοξία ω βασιλέων βασιλεύ, κυριευόν τον εκ όντων κυρίω. Διό σου την φιλάνθρωπον οικονομία δοξάζομεν. Ισού παντοδύναμε ο σωτήρ των ψυχών ημών. Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, praise him, all you peoples. You were first, O oh, ever memorable emperor, to submit the imperium willingly to Christ, knowing him as God, universal sovereign, the world's benefactor, giver of victories, who is above all power and all authority. Then Jesus, as the Savior of our souls, O Christ, loving Constantine, was from that time the guiding force of your reign in his love for man. 
Mercy rules over us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. You were first, O ever-memorable emperor, to submit the imperium willingly, to Christ, knowing him as God, universal sovereign, the world's benefactor, giver of victories, who is above all power and all authority. Then Jesus, as the Savior of our souls, O Christ, loving Constantine, was from that time the guiding force. Of your reign. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You received the advantages of abundant gifts from God, O mighty guest King, Constantine the Great, and you distinguished yourself in them. Through baptism, you were illumined by the rays of the Holy Spirit. You became invincible among emperors, and to your Creator you conferred as a donation the, the empire and the God Therefore, never cease and treat in Christ our God, to whom you speak with confidence that he grant forgiveness of sins and great mercy to all who observe your memory. Thank 
stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the assembly of Israel, and he spread out his hands toward heaven, and he said, O Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth below. 
if the heaven and the heaven of heaven will not be sufficient for you, how much less even this temple I built in your name. Yet, O Lord God of Israel, regard my prayer, which your servant is praying before you today, that your eyes may be open toward this temple day and night, toward the place of which you said, my name shall be there, to hear the prayer your servant prays in this place day and night. You will hear the supplication of your servant and your people Israel when they pray towards this place. You will hear in your dwelling place in heaven, and you will be merciful. The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Let my soul rejoice exceedingly in the Lord, for he clothed me with the garment of salvation and the tunic of gladness. He put a mitre around me like a bridegroom and adorned me with ornaments like a bride. As the earth causes its flower to grow and as a garden its seeds, so shall the Lord cause righteousness to rise up and exceeding joy before all the Gentiles. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until my righteousness goes forth as light and my salvation burns like a lamp. The Gentiles will see your righteousness and kings your glory, and one will call you by your new name, which the Lord shall name. You shall also be a crown of beauty in the Lord's hand and the diadem of a kingdom in the hand of your God. You shall no longer be called forsaken, and your land shall not be called desert, for you shall be called my will, and in your land the inhabited earth. As a young man lives in wedlock with a virgin, so shall your sons dwell with you, and as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so the Lord shall rejoice over you. <coughs> The reading is from the prophecy of Isaiah. Wisdom, let us be attentive. Shine, shine, O Jerusalem, for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Behold, darkness and gloom shall cover the earth upon the nations, but the Lord will shine on you and his glory shall be seen upon you. Kings shall come to your light and the Gentiles to your brightness. Lift up your eyes all around and see your children gathered together. Behold, all your sons come from afar and your daughter shall be lifted upon their shoulders. Then you will see fear and be amazed in your heart because the wealth of the sea of the nation and of nations and peoples shall change their course and turn to you. Herds of, shamels, herds of camels shall come to you and the camels of the Midian and the Ephop shall cover you. All those from Sheba shall come bearing gold and they shall bring frankincense and proclaim the good news of the Lord's salvation. All the sheep of Kedar shall be gathered together to, be, to you, and the rams of Nabaoth shall come to you. They shall offer acceptable sacrifices upon my altar, and my house of prayer shall be glorified. Who are these who fly like clouds and like doves with young? The coastlands waited for me, and the ships of Tarshish among the first to bring your children from afar, and the silver and gold with them for the sake of the Lord's name, because the Holy One of Israel is glorified. Foreigners shall build your walls, and their king shall defend you. For I struck you, I struck you because of my wrath, and I loved you because of my mercy. Your gates shall be opened continually, and they shall not be shut day or night, to bring to you the power of the, of the Gentiles and their kings leading them. For the nations and their kings who will not serve you shall perish, and those nations will be utterly desolate. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you with the cypress, the pine, and the cedar together, to glorify my holy place. The sons of those who humbled and provoked you shall go to you in fear, and you shall be called city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Because you were forsaken and hated, and there was no one to help you, therefore I will make you an eternal joy, gladness of generations to generations. You shall drink the milk of the Gentiles and eat the wealth of kings. You shall know I am the Lord who saves you and the God of Israel who delivers you. Let us all say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord of mercy. Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to great mercy. We pray you hear us and have mercy. 
Let us pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our bishops of us. forgiveness and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious Orthodox Christians residing and visiting in this city, the parishioners, the members of the parish council, the stewards and benefactors of this holy church. Senor, ten piedad, Senor, ten piedad, Senor, ten piedad. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, and for all our fathers and brethren who have fallen asleep before us, who have been piously laid to their rest, as well as the Orthodox everywhere. Gospodi pomiluj, Gospodi pomiluj, Gospodi pomiluj. Our merciful God who loves mankind and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. O Lord, keep us this evening without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. O Lord, let your mercy be upon us, for we have set our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, Master, grant me understanding of your commandments. Blessed are you, Holy One, enlighten me with your commandments. Lord, your mercy is forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you is due praise, to you is due song, to you is due glory, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Grosso man, ti ne speri nin dei si ni mondo che rio. Andi la vos osna lei son che la fila che si maso deus ti si cari ti. Angelo peace and faithful guide. The guard of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Lord, do not remiss of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. Aras That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, <coughs> let us ask the Lord. Aras For let us ask for a Christian into <coughs> our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat, of Christ. And this, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O you. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. the might 
light of your kingdom be blessed and glorified of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever unto the ages of ages. Amen. We dutifully observe your memory, O Constantine, Equal to the apostles and foundation and boast of all kings. When you were illumined with the rays of the Spirit, you brightened the entire church of Christ. For you assembled the faithful from every where in the illustrious city of Nicaea, and there the audacity of the ungodly was stamped out, and the tongues of heretics were shown to be weak and foolish. And as the true faith became apparent, the orthodox were exalted. That is why they glory. as being most orthodox, and you were proclaimed Father of all emperors. For you first received the scepter from God. Therefore we who faithfully keep your memory, pray you to entreat for the forgiveness of sins for our souls. Eleison, <laughs> Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie
Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the audible heavenly boundless powers, the supplications of the audible glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praiseworthy apostles, our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra and Lycia, Spirit and Bishop of Trimethus, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrius the Miroglitia, Theodore Tiron and Theodore the Stratilato, Mina the Wonder Worker, Haralamus and Lefterius, the Higher Martyrs, the Venerable and God bearing Fathers, of the Holy Righteous Saints of God in Akin and Anna, of the Holy Saints Constantine and Helen, whose memories we commemorate today and of all your saints. Accept our prayer. Amen. Grant us forgiveness of our transgressions. Amen. Protect us under the shelter of your wings. Amen. Drive away from us every enemy and adversary.
rich man became poor and suffered hunger. But those who seek the Lord will never lack any good thing. Lucy of Tokef San Kepina San, either as he turned the stone Kirion, O Kelatothis on the Pandos Agathu. Christian emperors to receive the scepter from God for the saving symbol that was hid beneath the earth did appear in the sky to you by it you subjected all the nations bringing them under the Roman rule, having as invincible armor the life-giving cross of the Master, by which you were led to God, O oh Blessed One. Ήψος αεκλεκτών εκ του λαού μου, εύρον Δαβίδ των δούλων μου, εν ελέη Αγία μου, έχρησα αυτόν. Όντως μακαρία η γαστήρ, και η γιασμένη κοιλία, η σεβαστά σας απ' Με τον κόσμο πόθητε χριστιανόν η χαρά. Κωνσταντίνε θεόστεπτε, ανάκτον η λόξα πλούτος και υπέρμαχος των ορφανών και χειρών. Ταπεινών και απόρων θλίψεων ανόρθωσης όντως και των εχμαλώτων η ανάρρηση. Christ with the mother of that most sweet royal son, hastening she came to holy Zion, and she arrived at the sacred and holy place, upon which our Savior willingly was crucified for the salvation of all. There she found the cross and she took it. Joyfully she cried aloud, Glory to him who gave me what I was so to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit as a flash of lightning as a comet from the far west your course was diverted from unbelief 
to faith in the true, in the true God, and you were led to sanctify your people and your city. And you saw the sign of the cross in the sky, and from there you heard hereby conquer your enemies. Thus when you received the knowledge of the Spirit, and with oil were anointed as priest and king, you reinforced the Church of Christ our God. O Father of Orthodox Emperors, your coffin pours out Sophia's 
sisters in the Lord, Kronia Pola, to all of you who celebrate today, and may the Lord bless you with many happy and healthy years to come, and may this community continue to grow under the spiritual guidance of Father Stephen, Father Kronia Pola, to you and to your beloved community. So today, your community, our church, celebrates its feast day. St. Constantine the Great and his mother Helen. The legacies of St. Constantine and Helen is complicated and yet at the same time a story of two ordinary people who did extraordinary feats through the power of God. The shortened version of what happened is this. Constantine will always be remembered for his vision of the cross on the evening before the battle in which he was vastly over out, outnumbered by the enemy, he saw in the sky the vision of the cross with the words, En Teutonica. He ordered his soldiers to put crosses on their shields, and thus victory that evening secured his place as emperor, and he began his journey to the Christian faith. He authored, offered, authored the Edict of Milan, which granted Christians the freedom to always worship. Later, he moved the capital of the Roman Empire, establishing a city, a new Rome, which we now know more commonly as Constantinople, the city of Constantine. He oversaw the first ecumenical council held in the year of our Lord 325 in Nicaea, which authored our creed. When I was a student at the seminary, we traveled throughout Constantinople and Turkey, and I actually saw the church of Nicaea where the Holy Fathers authored our creed. For orthodoxy, Constantine represents an important link to the past. The persecuted church, or we could say the underground church, and the official state church are the same church. For Orthodox Christianity, there is no fall of the church. The Orthodox Church believes that it stands in unbroken continuity with the church of the first century. So today we celebrate St. Constantine the Great as an example of true leadership. Today we celebrate how faith transformed an empire from the oppressor of truth to its ultimate witness. Today, we celebrate how the love of a mother who shaped her son and turned his life from the kingdom of this world to the kingdom of God. So St. Helen, after, after St. Constantine had made the faith of Christ, triumphant throughout the Roman Empire, she undertook a journey to Jerusalem and found the Holy Cross on which our Lord and Savior was crucified. At this time, St. Helen, in her, in her zeal to glorify Christ, erected churches in Jerusalem at the site of the crucifixion and the resurrection, in Bethlehem at the cave where our Lord was born, on the Mount of Olives where Jesus ascended into heaven, and many other sites throughout the Holy Land. And now, for centuries, pilgrims have visited these sacred places to walk where our Lord walked and strengthened their faith and his devotion to him. So today is a fact that it was St. Helen's commitment to the gospel that prepared Constantine for his role in history. 
Today, we celebrate St. Helen's example of her faith and her piety. In recognition of all that St. Constantine did for the church and its people, he and his mother were canonized and known as equal to the apostles. They are now part of the great crowd of witnesses cheering on to the finish, to the finish, the spiritual race in a world that continues to change, that we continue to be ever mindful of the petition that we say during the liturgy for the peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Amen. May all of us, with inspiration, with zeal, with love in our hearts, and the prayers of St. Constantine and Helen, live always for the glory of God and the good of his creation. Christ is risen. Cronia Pala to all of you today. Um, there's a lot of Costandinos, Alenis, I'm sure, and variations from that name. Uh, so I pray that our Lord and Savior keeps all of us safe and healthy for many, many, many years. Thank you for being here. Thank you uh, to Father Stephen for allowing me to liturgize this great Vesper service tonight on the feast day of Saints Constantine and Helen. Amen. Lord, now letting your servants depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for the face of all peoples, a light to bring your elevation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Your apostle among the rulers, Saint Constantine, who once beheld in the sky the image of your cross, and who, like Paul, received his calling not from man, once entrusted the ruling city into your hand, we entreat you to restore it in peace forever at the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord, who loves humanity. Vox apatrike o kia io pneuma di kenin kia i kia istu se o nas ton e o non amin. Mesus isti se ordis di psos an mudin psihin ef se vias podis o namata o ti pasis o ti revoisas o di psos ergesto. Πρός με κεπινέτο, η πηγή τη ζωή Χριστέ ο Θεός, δόξα Συ. Σοφία, Πάδε πλέον, Άρα βλογητός Χριστό Θεός, Σίμων πάντα δεν είναι και αΐ, και στους αιώνας των αιώνων. 
Lord God, make firm the holy and pure faith of the pious Orthodox Christians, together with the holy great Church of Christ, our holy archdiocese, and the city to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our God, glory to you. May he who arose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and all immaculate holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable violent powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of our righteous, God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, the holy, glorious, great, and God-crowned sovereign, Constantine and Helen, the equals to the apostles, whose memories we commemorate today, and all of you saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and a merciful and loves mankind. Amen. Christos Thank you, everyone, for coming. The good news is we're getting a new air conditioning system in here. The bad news is, obviously, it's not done. So thank you for your patience and, and putting up with a little bit of, of discomfort today. We want to welcome each and every one of you who have come to visit us and to share with us the joy of our name day, many for, for whom many of you, it's, it's your name day as well. A special thank you to Father Peter. Uh, for being here this evening, to Father Jim Dukas, my, my schoolmate, uh, to Father Dean Diamond, who's celebrating his name day today, to Father Alexander Garklovs, who's a priest of the Holy Trinity Church in Parma, and to Father Paul Monkowski, who's the, the pastor of St. Cyril and Methodius in Lorraine. Father Paul gets the award of being the, the priest who traveled the farthest to be with us today. So thank you one and all. We're going to let Father Dean give out the uh, Atoclasia so you can wish him happy name day. You're invited downstairs where a reception has been organized by Lori Maracas and the, the, the Maracas family and for many of, of us who love Saints Constantine and Helen as well. So please come downstairs and join us for refreshments. Cronio Polakia Vlogimena. <laughs>